Hello. Good evening. Hi, Brenda. How are you? Brenda, ¿cómo estás? ¿Me escucha? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent. Nice I'm to see fine. you. Yes. Elizabeth, how are you? I'm fine. Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. We have a Brenda. Nice to see you too. Okay, Brenda Cruz. Nice to see you, Brenda. Nice to see you that you're sure. um, you are on. How was uh, your day at work, Brenda? Um, fine, but very, very full of work. Full of work. My goodness. Yes. It was it was a busy day. Yes. That's what we say, busy, busy day. My day was busy very busy, day. yes. And uh, Sandoval, how was your day? I'm fine, thank you. How was, how was uh, your day? It was busy, slow? Uh, no. Slow, okay, very good. And uh, hi, Andrea Cristal, how are you? Hi, teacher, I am fine, fine, fine. Excellent, excellent. And Carlos Rendero, how are you? Uh, I am fine, but very, very tired. Very tired. My goodness. Well, today is a Wednesday, so it's half of our weekend. It's the miércoles y es la mitad de la semana. We are two more days and then we, we're going to rest. Yeah, and tomorrow is the last day of class. So, and also is uh, the uh, uh, final, right? Yes. Yes, final. Yes. Okay. Today we have a lot of things to do. Um, we're going to start. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Welcome to the uh, uh, your class. Okay, today we're going to be learning a lot of things. Uh, we're going to start the chapter, um, uh, se uh, section five. So we're going to be talking about things, almost uh, almost the same thing that we have been talking about. Casi lo mismo de lo que hemos venido hablando, eh, de negativos, el pasado, y uh, uh, questions. Eh, pero mayormente vamos a hablar del verbo to be. ¿Qué es el verbo to be para ustedes? Eh, Miguel. ¿Qué es el verbo to be para ti? Es el ser o estar. El ser o estar, sí. Es, es uno de los verbos más importantes en inglés porque se usa más del 80% en nuestras conversaciones. Quiere decir que necesita muy buena, que le demos buena atención a ese verbo. Eh, es uno de los verbos más irregulares de todos los verbos que existen en, en la lengua inglesa. ¿Por qué? Porque tiene variaciones, tiene el am, el are y el is. Tiene tres variaciones. El am solo se usa para la primera persona. ¿Cuál es la primera persona, Andrea? Uh, nombre propio. La primera persona, oh, Brenda Cruz. Sí, Brenda Cruz, ¿cuál es la primera mm. persona? Sí. Hey. Brenda Sandoval, ¿cuál es la primera persona? Ay. ay, ay, ay. ¿Se acuerdan que en la primera clase les dije yo que si se nos olvidaba la diferencia entre ay y ey, que hiciéramos así? Ay, esa es la i, ay. Esa es la primera persona. Y la ey de la a es ey, ey. Cuando nosotros saludamos, ey, esta es la pronunciación de la ey y la ay es ay. Ok, entonces esta es la primera persona eh, de los pronombres. Y el verbo que va, el verbo to be que va a esa, siempre es el am. am. I am. ¿Yes? Am, am. I am. 
Diga. Um, I, I am. am. I am. Brenda Cruz, I am. I am. Uh, Andrea Cristal, I am. I am. Very good. Miguel Lara, I am. I am. Very good. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, I am. I am. Carlos, I am. I am. Very good. Ok, esa es la primera persona del verbo to be, la primera variación. La segunda variación, que es la que usamos nosotros con el, el you, el they, el we y el you plural es el are. are. Entonces, I am, you are. Uh, Brenda Sandoval. Ahora digo usted, I am, you are teacher. I am, you are teacher. I am. I am. I am. Yes. I am. I am. I am. You I are. Am. You are. Pero señáleme, por favor. Ah. I am. You ah, are. No. I am. Am. I am. I am. You, you are. are. Yes. Brenda Cruz. I am. I am. I am. You are. Señáleme, por favor. I am. I am. You are. You are. Yes, Miguel, Lara. I am. You are. Very good. Andrea Cristal. I am. You are. Señáleme, Andrea. You are. Ya lo señalé, teacher. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Elizabeth, I am. I am, you are. Very good. Elizabeth, I am, you are. I am, you are. I am, que se le vean los labios. I, I am, I am you, you are. are. Yes, uh, Carlos Rendero. I am, you I are. I am, you are. Yes, uh, tell me, I am, you are. I am, you are. Very good. Ahora vamos a ponerle nombre. I am Antonio, you are Brenda Sandoval. Entonces usted va a decir, I am Brenda Sandoval, you are Antonio. Brenda Sandoval. I, I am Brenda Sandoval and you, Antonio. I am... I am, I am Brenda Sandoval. I, I am Brenda Sandoval, you and, Antonio. And, and you, you are Antonio. Are Antonio. Mm -hmm. Otra vez. Okay. I am, I am Brenda Sandoval así, and así. you are Antonio. Así, I am. Okay. I, I am... I am Brenda Sandoval, and, and you are, and you are Antonio. Very good, uh, Brenda Cruz. I am Brenda Cruz, and you are Antonio. Very good, Miguel, please. I am Miguel, and you are Antonio. Very good, Andrea Cristal. Delmi Carranza. I am, I am Delmi Carranza, and you are Antonio. Very good. I am Andrea Cristal. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth. I, I am Elizabeth, and you. Antonio, and you, you are, are Antonio. Antonio, very good. Carlos? I am Carlos Landeros, and you are Antonio. Very good. Now, vamos a ver la otra versión del verbo, verbo to be, que es el is, 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 ¿verdad? Ya vimos el am, are, and is. Ahora voy a decir, I am Antonio, you are Carlos, And she is Brenda Sandoval. Ok. Sandoval, le toca a usted. Ok. 
Uh, I am Brenda Sandoval, and you are Antonio, and he is Carlos Rendero. Very good. Uh, Brenda Cruz? I am Brenda Cruz, and you you are Antonio, mm -hmm. and she, she is Brenda Sandoval. Brenda Sandoval. Miguel? I am Miguel, and you are Antonio, mm -hmm. and she is Elizabeth. Elizabeth, very good. Andrea, Cristal, let's. I, I am Andrea Cristales, and you are Antonio, mm -hmm. and he is Carlos Rendero. Very good. Delmi, thank you. I am Delmi Carranza. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is she is Cristal. Very good. Uh, very good. Thank you. Elizabeth, I'm sorry. I am Elizabeth Perez mm -hmm. and you are you are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda Cruz. Very good. Mm -hmm. Carlos Renderos. I am Carlos Renderos mm -hmm. and you are Antonio. Mm -hmm. And he is Miguel Lara. Very good. Okay. Ya tenemos, ya tenemos I, you, he, ahora she, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer los cuatro. I am Antonio, you are Elizabeth, he is Carlos Rendero, and she is Brenda Cruz. Brenda Sandoval, por favor. I am, I am Brenda Sandoval, and you are Antonio, and he is uh, Miguel Lara, and she is uh, Andrea Cristales. Very good, very good. Brenda Cruz. I am Brenda Cruz. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda Sandoval. Mm -hmm. And he is Carlos Rendero. Very good, very good. Uh, Miguel? I am Miguel. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda and he is Carlos. Very good. Andrea Cristal? I am Andrea Cristales and you are Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, he is Miguel Lara mm -hmm. and she is Brenda Sandoval. Very good, very good. Tell me. I am Delmi Carranza. You mm -hmm. are Antonio. She is um, Brenda Sandoval and he is Carlos. Very good. And he is Carlos. Very good. Ahora vamos a ver el we. We lo usamos con we are, ¿ok? Entonces, I am Antonio, you are Brenda Sandoval, he is Miguel Lara, she is Andrea Cristal, we are students. Brenda? Uh, I, am, I am Brenda Sandoval, mm -hmm. and you are Antonio? Mm -hmm. And she is uh, Brenda Cruz, mm -hmm. and he is Carlos Rendero, mm -hmm. and we are, and we are um, uh, uh, Delmi Carranza. We are, and, uh, we, and we are, we are, we, we, are, it, we uh, are, it's nosotros. Nosotros. Uh -huh. Nosotros. Mm -hmm. We uh, are. And we are, um, ¿El grupo se puede decir? No. ¿O serían todos nosotros? Students. Estudian. Ok, estudian. Díganlo, we are students. We are students. We are students. We are students. No E, no E students, porque no lleva una E, es students. Ok, we are students. Diga así, students. Students. Diga, students. Students. Very good. Students. Student. Okay. Okay. Student. Very good. Andrea Cristal? I am Andrea Cristales mm -hmm. and you are Antonio. Very good. Uh, she is Delmi Carranza mm -hmm. and he is Miguel Lara mm -hmm. and we are students. We are 
students. Very good. Students. Carlos Renderos, please. I am Carlos Renderos, and you are Antonio. He is Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. She is Delmi Carranza. Mm -hmm. And we are, uh, we are, we are students. We are students. Student. Acuérdense que la S, al principio les expliqué que la S no es es, sino que es el sonido de ella. El nombre de ella es es, pero el sonido es student, como la culebrita. Student. Que no se, student. Que no se les oiga la S. Muy bien. Ah, bienvenida, Corey Monterrosa, a su inglés corporativo. Eh, estamos contentos de que esté aquí. Ay, ah, thank you, ¿La dejo por último o, o va usted? Ah, sí, quiero yo. Ok, please, please, please. I am Cory Monterrosa. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Avilene. ¿Dónde está Avilene? She is Carlos Renderos. Avilene Elizabeth Pérez. Oh, oh sí, 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 sí. sí. Uh, she is Avilene, he is Carlos Renderos, and we are students. Very good. Uh, Avilene, por favor. I am Elizabeth Pérez. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Cory mm -hmm. Monterrosa. He is Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. We are, and we are students. Very good. Me gustó eso. Students, very good. Miguel Lara, por favor. I am Miguel. You are Antonio. She is Brenda. He is Carlos. And we are students. Students, very good. Uh, Brenda Cruz. I am Brenda Cruz. You mm -hmm. are Antonia. Mm -hmm. She is Andrea Cristales. Mm -hmm. He is Miguel Lara. And okay. we are students. Very good. My goodness. Como que pues, ya hoy más rápido, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, Delmi Carranza lo va a hacer más rápido todavía. <laughs> I am Delmi Carranza. Mm -hmm. We are, uh, perdón. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Cory Monterosa. Mm -hmm. He is Carlos. Mm -hmm. We are students. Students, ok. Ahora vamos a ver con el you, pero el you plural. Cuando yo diga you are my friends, eh, me estoy refiriendo a más de una persona, ok. Cuando digo you are my friends. Entonces, I am Vidal. Um, I am Antonio. You are Brenda Sandoval. He is Carlos Rendero. You are Avilene Elizabeth. Uh, she is uh, uh, Avilene Elizabeth. We are uh, students. We are students. And you, Brenda Cruz and Corri Monterosa, are my friends. Yeah? Yeah? Entonces, cuando digo you, me refiero, cuando digo you, menciono más de una persona para eh, eh, diferenciar el you de singular con el you de plural. ¿Sí? Yeah. Okay, Brenda Sandoval. Okay. I am Brenda Sandoval, mm -hmm. and you are Antonio, mm -hmm. and she is uh, Katy Ramirez, mm -hmm. and he is Carlos Rendero, mm -hmm. and we are students. Very good. And you are, and you are my friends. Can is you? Ah? Can you? ¿A quién se refirió? Ah, uh, lo, lo producen amigos, my friend. Pero a quiénes, quiénes son sus yes. amigos? Ah, uh, oh, usted, en, you are Carlos Renderos, um, Andrea Cristales. Are my friends, very good, yes. Ok, very good, sí lo vio. You, you, Carlos Rendero ¿Sí? y Andrea Cristales are my friends. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces cuando dice you, tiene que mencionar a esas dos personas para que se diferencie entre you ah. y you, el otro you, ¿ya? Yeah? Ok. Very good. Yes. Carlos Renderos. You are Carlos Renderos. And you are Antonio. He is Miguel Lara. She is Brenda Cruz. Uh, we are a student. And you are my friend. Eh, Brando Cruz en Miller, Miguel Lara. Ok. Después del you, que es el sujeto, mencionamos las personas y después el verbo. Ok. Entonces, cuando digo uh -uh. you, Delmi Carranza en Andrea Cristales, 
are my friends. ¿Sí? Are my friends. Oh. Menciona a las personas, luego el verbo are y my friends. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Ok, uh, Miguel de Lara, please. I am Miguel. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda. He is Carlos. We are students. And you, Delmi, and Carlos are my friends. Very good. Excellent. Ok, Andrea Cristales. Oh, my goodness. Me está poniendo una foto ahí. Tengo que estar viendo así. <laughs> oh, yeah, teacher. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> That's okay. Andrea Cristales. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. um, eh, ya me creo que si era el she is o el we are. No, so, bueno, we are. Mm -hmm. Ok, no importa el orden. Um, we are um, um, students. Mm -hmm. um, he is Miguel Lara. She is Delmi Carranza. Mm -hmm. Y el otro era your... Uh, your, 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 my friends. Quién es your? Your, my friends. Yes. Your, your, my friends, Abilene and Carlos Rendera. No, acuérdese que dijimos que eso lleva un, un, una estructura. You menciona a las personas a quién se está refiriendo. Are y luego my friends. Ok. Corri Monterosa, please. Oh. Okay, I am Cory Monterrosa. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. uh, she is Brenda Sandoval. Mm -hmm. He is Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. We are student. Mm -hmm. And you, Delmi Carranza and Andrea Cristales are my friends. Very good, excellent. Brenda Cruz, please. I am Brenda Cruz. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda Sandoval. Mm -hmm. He is Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. uh, we are students. Very good. And you, Delmi and Carlos are my friends. Oh, very good. Excellent. Elizabeth. Abilene. I am Abilene Perez. Mm -hmm. You are Antonio. Mm -hmm. He is Miguel Lara. Mm -hmm. She is Brenda Sandoval. Mm -hmm. We are students. Mm -hmm. Students. And you, Corey, and Brenda are my friends. Very good. Delmi Carranza, please. I am Delmi Carranza. You mm -hmm. are Antonio. Mm -hmm. She is Corey Montesosa. He is Carlos. Uh, we, we are students. Students, yes. You, Corey Montesosa, and Brenda. Friends. Very good. Ok. Acuérdense, students es la students. Eh, es un poco eh, dificultoso al principio, pero si sí, lo, lo, pre, lo pre, presiona para que la S salga students, en vez de students, mm -hmm. le va a servir bastante después. Ya después se va a hacer algo um, como normal ya. Uh, hello. Uh, ¿Cómo estás, Benjamín? Nice to see you. ¿Quieres uh, participar ahorita o esperas después? Hello, teacher. Eh, eh, acabo de entrar. Sí, sí, sí. Oh, ok. Acabo entonces, de entrar. Entonces, después cuando... Ok, lo, no hay problema. Al okay. Ver el, el... ok, gracias. Benjamín, parece, Miguel, parece que tú faltas solamente, ¿verdad? O ya tú. Ok, entonces ya todos participamos. Excelente. Entonces... Eh, Ahí terminamos ya con el verbo to be. El que falta es el they. They are my friends. Ahí si no tiene que eh, especificar porque eh, ya they se está refiriendo a ellos, ¿verdad? Pero cuando dice you, como es segunda persona plural, entonces you, eh, Brenda, uh, Sandoval, en uh, eh, Andrea Cristales are my friends, tengo que decir quieres. Pero en they, no, porque ya es, eh, cuando estoy hablando de terceras personas, they are my friends. Ya, yeah. ok. Entonces, ¿estamos bien? ¿Alguna pregunta de las variaciones del verbo to be, am, is, and are? ¿Con quiénes se usan? ¿O estamos bien? Ok, entonces vamos a, compa bien. Vamos a compartir pantalla ahorita. Vamos a, a, a ver la PowerPoint presentation que les envié yo. Ahí está en, en, la, en el grupo de WhatsApp, pero lo vamos a, a, 
a explicar aquí poco a poco, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Lo pueden ver? Yes. Ok, yes, yes. excelente. Entonces, vamos a ver, dice el verbo to be, el past tense, ¿ok? Ese, el que estuve viendo ahorita, que estoy explicando, es el, el present. El past tense es más fácil todavía, porque solamente tiene... Sí, tiene solamente dos formas. ¿Cuáles son las formas que tiene uh, Brenda Cruz? Was and were. Was and were. Yes. Was and were. Yes. Repitamos. Was, was, was and, and were. 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 Okay. Y tenemos, was and were. Yes. Y vamos a ver dos tipos de, de to be. Vamos a ver el afirmativo que es el afirmativo, y el negative sentences. Entonces, vamos a ver las dos formas de, del pasado del verbo to be, que son was and were, ¿ya? Esas son las dos. Y vamos a ver las afirmativas y las negative sentences, ¿ya? Ok. Ok. Entonces, eh, en las positive y negative statements with the past of be. Vamos a ver que... Sí. Primero vamos a ver las positive and negative statements with the past of the verb to be. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Examples of the affirmative en el pasado. Vamos a ver. El sujeto es el I. Cuando usamos el sujeto, siempre vamos a usar was. Cuando usamos el sujeto you, vamos a usar were. Cuando usamos el sujeto he, she, and it, vamos a usar was was, was, y el were lo vamos a usar con el we, you and they, entonces usamos el you, we you and they el were, y el was con el I, he, she el it, ok entonces tenemos un ejemplo aquí, dice I was tired this morning quiere decir estuve cansado o estaba cansado esta mañana Bien. Si yo quiero decir, estaba cansado ayer, ¿cómo digo, Brenda, Brenda Sandoval? Um, I was there this tired, morning. Tired. tired this morning. Ayer. I was tired. Ah, uh, is yesterday. I was tired. I was tired this uh, yesterday. Yes, tired yesterday. Very good. I was mm -hmm. tired yesterday. Very good. La segunda, el segundo sujeto es you. Y con el you vamos a usar el were. You were, you were very good. You were very good. Cuando nos eh, referimos a la segunda persona. ¿Ya? La otra variación es el, cuando usamos el he. He was the best in class. ¿Ya? Él fue el mejor en la clase. He was the best in class. La tercera persona, she. She was late for work. Okay. She was late for work. El it. It was a sunny day. Cuando nos referimos a algo de, 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 del clima. It was very rainy yesterday. Yeah. Fue bien lluvioso ayer. La otra es la we. Con el we usamos el we were at home. We were at home. Con el you, el plural, usamos el you were on holidays. You were on holiday. They were happy with their test results. Es el they, usamos el were. Entonces, lo que quiero que ustedes pongan aquí, atención, es con qué sujeto usamos el was y con qué sujeto usamos el were. Las dos variaciones del verbo to be. ¿Ok? Ok, entonces... Repitan después de mí. Uh, repeat after me. La electoral está protagonizada por una abogada de puerta por un junior ex marinero cuya familia está enfrentada de corrupción. No se oye. Patricia, el que está viendo Cuatro Visión, el canal 6. Ok. Ok. I was, uh, vamos a ver, repita, repeat after me. I was tired this morning. I was, I was tired. Tired. Yes. Morning. Yes. Morning. You were very good. 
you were you very, were very, very, very good. good. Yes. He was the best in this class. He was the best in this class. He was the best in this class. Very good. She was late for work. She was late for work. She was late for work. Very good. It was a Sunday. Como? She was late for work. She was late, he was for, work. late for work. Very good. Work. It was a sunny day. It uh, was a sunny, sunny day. day. Very sunny good. Day. We were at home. We, we were, were at, at home. home. At home. Well, uh, you were at home on holiday. You were, you were, you were, you were on holiday. On holiday. holiday. They were happy with their test they results. They were happy with their They were, they were, they were happy, happy with, with their test the results. 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 Yes. El, el, uh, El word stress is a result. Yes, result. Very good. Hay una pregunta de el uso del was y el were. ¿Con qué eh, pronombre se usa el was y el were? ¿Estamos bien? No. Yes. Ok, yes. very good. Ok, ahora vamos a ver el negativo. En el negativo, lo único que le ponemos, no sé, que le vamos a adherir es la palabra not. Ok. Not. Not. Sí. And negative of to be can be made by adding not after the verb was or were. Después del verbo was o el were. Ok. Entonces, el was not. Repitamos después de mí. Was not. Was, was not. 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 Were not. Were not. Were not. Were not. Were not. not. Was not. Was not. Was not. Was not. Okay. Not. Ahora lo vamos a adherir con el con el pronombre. I was not. I, I was, was, not. was not. I was not. You were not. You were not. You were not. You were not. Were not. He was he not. He was not. He was not. Not. He, he was, was not. not. She was not. He was, 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 was not. It was not. It was not. It was not. We were 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 not. You were not. You were not. You were not. You were not. Lo que están haciendo es suicidándose políticamente, aunque de por sí, ya. You were not. You, you were, were not. not. You were not. You, you were, were not. not. They were not. They, they were, were not. not. Ok, ahora vamos a ver los ejemplos y vamos a leer los statements de aquí. Ya sabemos que I was not tired this morning. Repitamos. I was, I was not tired this morning. this morning. Ok, Brenda Cruz y Carlos Rendero, por favor, enciendan el micrófono. En lugar de ayudarlos. Es que, es que Benjamín, ben, Benjamín. Benjamín. Puedes bajar el teléfono. Sí, al... Benjamín, le puedes bajar al televisor, por favor. Al televisor. Ok. Ok, entonces vamos a ver. I, uh, prendan su, su micrófono, por favor. I was not tired this morning. I, I was, was not this morning. I was not this morning. Uh, you were not crazy. You, you were, were not, not crazy. crazy. Crazy, yes. He crazy. was not crazy. 
He was not married. He was not married. She was not famous. She was, she not, was not, not famous. 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 It was not hot yesterday. It, it was, was not, not hot, hot yesterday. 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 No. Carlos, ¿puede leerme esta oración? It, uh, it was not it, hot yesterday. It was not hot yesterday. Very good. Okay, all of you, todos. We were not invited. We were not, yes. we we were not, not invited. We were not invited. Ok, <ríe> eh, déjenme decirlo primero y después lo repiten, ok, para que escuchen la pronunciación. We were not invited. We, we were not, not, were not, not invited. invited. Yes, you were not at the party. You, you were, were not, not at the party. party. Very good. They were not friends. They, they were, were not, not friends. friends. Ok, entonces ya vimos que para hacer el negativo de una oración positiva, lo único que tenemos que hacer es ponerle el not, not. el verbo. Yes. ¿Estamos bien? Ahí, yeah. ahí. Muy yes. bien, excelente. Yes. Vamos a yes. seguir. Y vamos a ver la question. ¿Cómo formamos las preguntas con el verbo to be para hacer una pregunta eh, con el verbo to be? To create a question with the to be verb, you put the verb before the subject. Entonces, ¿quién es el subject? El subject es a la persona que estamos hablando, que es esto. Y el verbo es este y este es el complemento. Entonces, si yo digo, you were happy, ese es una, un statement afirmativo que le estoy diciendo, estoy afirmando que tú estabas feliz afirmativo. ahora, para hacerlo pregunta son dos cosas que tengo que recordar pongo el verbo antes de pongo el verbo antes del sujeto, ¿sí? del sujeto y luego le pongo la question mark el signo aquí. de interrogación question mark, acuérdese son esas dos cosas que tienen que eh, saber Pongo el verbo antes del sujeto y el question mark at the end. Entonces, ya aquí ya dice, were you happy? Repitamos la primera oh. afirmativa. You were happy. Were you happy? You were happy. You were happy. You were happy. La primera. La primera dice. You were happy. Estamos afirmando. You were happy. You were happy. You were, happy. You, were happy. you were happy. Yes, esta es una afirmación. Ahora viene you la were question. Happy. Were you happy? Were you, were you happy? Were you happy? Were you happy? Very good. Very good. Ok, entonces está esto. Eh, me expliqué bien esto. Para hacer la afirmativa y la yes. question. Yes, yes. 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 Excelente. Yes. Entonces vamos a, hacer, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver uh, cómo es que se cambia de la afirmativa a la question. Dice... I was late. Um, uh, Elizabeth, hágame la question. I was late. Uh, was you late? No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Uh, was I late? Was I late? Sí, y dice, was I late? Was I late? Yes, I was, I was late. Esa es afirmativa, ¿verdad? I was late. Was I late? Ok, vamos was a ver la segunda. Late? You were sick. Dina Ofelia, hágame, hágame la question. Were you sick? 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 Very good. Ah, he was surprised, Brenda Cruz. Was he surprised? Was he surprised? He surprised? Was he surprised? Was he surprised? Very good. She was from Italy, uh, Andrea Cristal. 
Um, was she from? ¿Qué dice aquí? Espérame que no alcanza a ver. Italy. Italy. Yes. Was was Italy, Italy or Italy? Italy. 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 Yes. Okay. Was 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 she from Italy? Italy. Yes. Acuérdese. Was like... she from Italy? Italy. Yes. La expresión. Was she from Italy? Was she from okay. Italy? Was, was she from Italy? Very good. It was a big house, uh, Brenda Sandoval. What is a big house? Was it 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 a big house? Okay. It a big en, house. En esto, el secreto está. En esto, el secreto está. En esto, el secreto está que usted eh, eh, una la S con la IT y diga was it. Was it, was it a big house? Yeah, a big house was. A big it, house. was it, Was, was it, it a big house? Was it? Was it, was it a big house? Ahora trabajemos en el acento. Was it a big house? 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 A big house. A big house. Yes. Was it a big house? Was it a big house? A big house. Okay. Were we ready, Miguel Lara? Were we, we were ready. Were we ready? Were we ready? Were we ready? Very good. Carlos Venderos, you were early. Were you early? Very good. Ahora tenemos a, ¿quién más nos hace falta? Eh, a Andrea Cristales, they were busy. Were they busy? Mm -hmm. Busy, busy, busy. Me falta la expresión, ¿verdad? Sí, were they busy? Entonces were, sería, were, were, they, were they busy? Were they busy? Were, were they busy? Mm -hmm. Were they busy? Ok, ahora lo vamos a, a repetir todo. Repítanlo después de mí, ¿ok? Repeat after me. Ok. Repeat after me. Okay. okay, I was late. Was I late? Was I late? I was late. Was late. 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 Okay, otra vez. I was late. Was I late? I was late. Was late. I late? Very good. Uh, Miguel, no te escucho. I was late, was I late? I was late, was I late? Was I late? Was I late? Ok. El, la, la, la fluidez le va a salir, Miguel, de que una, esta, was I late? Was I late? Very good. Ahora démosle el acento. Was I late? Was I late? Very good. Excellent. You, ahora, you were sick. Were you sick? Todos. You were, were, sick. Sick. were, you sick? were you sick? Were you sick? Very were good. You were sick? Very good. He was surprised. Was he surprised? He was, he was surprised. Was he surprised? He was surprised. Very good. He was from, he was from Italy. Was she from Italy? She was from Italy. Was she from Italy? From Italy? Italy, yes. La, la, la T en esta Italy la pueden pronunciar como una R, como una R. Entonces, Italy. 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 Very good. Italy. Italy. It was a, It was a big house. 
Was it a big house? It was a big house. It was a big house. It was a big house. Very good, Miguel. Very good. We were ready. Were we ready? We were ready. 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 You were early. Were you early? You were early. You were early. You were early. Okay, very good. They were busy. Were they busy? They were busy. They were busy. Were they busy? Very good, very good. Excellent. Okay, entonces ya vimos de la affirmative y la question. ¿Cómo se forma? y cómo se pronuncia y cómo se escribe, ¿ok? ¿Alguna pregunta de esto? No. Oh, very good. Vamos a seguir. No, 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 no. Ok, entonces vamos a seguir al siguiente paso que es... No sé. Es este donde dice question. before the verb, you can question also word. have uh, el WH. ¿Se acuerdan de la <laughs> WH? El WH question es why, who, what, and where. Entonces, Where? podemos tener una doble question también cuando usamos el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, decimos, were you happy? Esta es una question, ¿verdad? Were you happy? Yes, I was. ¿Ok? Were you happy? Yes, I was. And then, podemos... Were you happy? Yes, I was. Y de, después podemos poner a why. Why were you happy? Le podemos hacer la pregunta adhiriéndole una WHY question, ¿ok? Entonces, este es en, en adición a la pregunta. Podemos adherirle otra pregunta sobre la pregunta. En otras palabras, were you happy? Yes, I was. Why were you happy? Ah, oh, because, perdón, ah, oh, because I was promoted at work. Ahí les dice por qué es que estaba feliz. Porque eh, es, una, es una conversación aburrida. Si te, were you happy? Yes, I was. Oh, ok. Y usted se queda callado así como, oh, ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces, el why le, le ayuda para que la conversación la pueda hacer más amena. Were you happy? Yes, I was. Why were you happy? Oh, because I was promoted at work. ¿Ah, ok. Entonces, vamos a ver eh, el, el acento en esta en esta eh, statement. Vamos a ver. Repitan después de mí. Were you happy? Were you happy? happy? Yes, I was. Yes, yes, I was. was. Yes. Where, why were you happy? Why were you, were happy? you happy? happy? Ah, because I was promoted at work. Because I was promoted at work. I was promoted at work. I was promoted at work. Because I was promoted at work. Yeah, promoted. Because I was promoted at work. Very good, Cristal. My goodness, you sound Excuse very good. Me, you sound very good. Uh -huh. Yes, Dina. Um, en la pregunta donde dice where, no, no le falta la H ahí. Were you happy? Después de la W. Mi amor, es que esa es no, una pregunta, es que no es dónde. Es... Este es el pasado, el verbo pasado del verbo to be. Were. Uh, ¿Por qué estás feliz? ¿Por qué estás feliz? Ajá. Uh -huh. Were you happy? Okay. Estuviste. Feliz. Feliz. Ajá, ese es pasado sí, del verbo to be. El, sí. ah, ok. El, al principio de esta presentación, Tina Ofelia, eh, expliqué de las were y was, de las dos estas, de were y was. Entonces, ah, pero ahí está para que lo vea. Eh, lo... Was en primera persona y sí, was en tercera persona. Was, sí, was se ocupa para I. Para she, he y el it. Y el sí. word se usa para... Ajá, el word, you, we y te. Word se usa para you, we, you y they. ¿Ok? Ajá. Excelente. Thank you. You're welcome. Ok, entonces vamos a el negative contraction. ¿Qué es una contraction? Les ha, hace como tres días les expliqué que una contraction era la unión de dos palabras, ¿verdad? Y donde se omitía una letra. Entonces, vamos a, a trabajar con las contractions usando el negative. ¿Eso para qué? Para que nos escuchemos más nativos, para que el inglés se nos escuche más natural. Por eso es lo que vamos a usar. 
we can make negative contraction of the verb to be in the past tense by joining the verb was or were and and t. Por ejemplo, si quiero hacer esta was, le agrego la nt y voy a decir wasn't. O si quiero unirle la were, were not, va a decir weren't. Weren't, yes, weren't. Ok, wasn't y weren't. ¿Estamos bien? We don't make contractions of the subject and the verb was. Ok, entonces no se hace la contracción, sino que decimos was not. Was not. ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Sí? Ahora yes. vamos a ver, vamos a ver unas expresiones. Por ejemplo, I was not tired this morning. Or, ¿puedo decir, Benjamín Ayala? I was not tired this morning. I wasn't, I wasn't tired this morning. I was not tired this morning. La segunda dice, you were not crazy. San Brenda Sandoval, ¿y cómo hacemos en la contracción del we're not crazy? Mm. You weren't scary? You weren't. You weren't crazy? Crazy. It's Excuse me. Crazy. I'm crazy. Crazy. Uh, you weren't crazy. Were, you weren't crazy. You weren't crazy. Weren't crazy. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver la otra que dice He was not married. Uh, Brenda Cruz. He wasn't married. He wasn't married. And she was not famous, uh, Dina. Dina, por favor, por, uh, uh, prenda el micrófono. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Repeat, please. Eh, le toca a usted esta. She was not famous. I, I, he, I, she, wasn't she famous. Was, este es un error, lo siento. She wasn't famous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She, she wasn't famous. Yes. Ahora, it was not hot yesterday. Um, tenemos a, eh, a Andrea Cristal. It was not okay. hot. It was not hot yesterday. It was. It wasn't hot, hot yesterday. yesterday. Very good. We were not invited. Eh, Brenda Sandoval. We were is in, uh, invited. La última palabra, dice. Invited. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. We were invited. Very good. Okay, Elizabeth y Carlos, las últimas. You were not at, you were not at the party. You weren't, you weren't at the party. Very good. They were not friends. They weren't friends. Very good, Carlos. Very good. I'm, I'm very proud of you. Estoy orgulloso de ti. Estás aumentando bastante. They weren't friends. Very good. Very good. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo formar el, el, la contracción? ¿No? Ok, very good. Entonces vamos a, a pasar a lo siguiente que es to be short answer. Cuando decimos nosotros short answer es son uh, respuestas. Yes. Yes. En vez de decir toda la oración que nos preguntaron, decimos eh, respuestas cortas. To be short answers. Entonces aquí dice, uh, in spoken English, en el uh, inglés hablado, we usually give short answers in response to questions. Usualmente damos uh, uh, respuestas cortas eh, cuando respondemos una pregunta. Was he from Japan? Was he from Japan? Yes, he was. Y omitimos el from Japan. Entonces, was he from Japan? Yes, he was. Was he from Japan? Yes, 
She was. Y omitimos el from Japan. Entonces la forma corta sería esta. The last part from Japan can be omitted. Omitted quiere decir se puede omitir. No es que se omita, sino que se puede omitir. Ustedes la pueden decir si quieren, pero se, eh, es, es uh, aceptable omitirla. Yeah? We use short answers to avoid repetition when the meaning when the meaning is clear. Entonces, para evitar esa redundancia es que se hace la short answer, ¿ok? Entonces, repitan después, repeat after me. Was he from Japan? Was he from Japan? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo contestar las short answers? ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo contestar las, uh, eh, eh, de responder con una respuesta corta? ¿No? Ok. Sí, okay. Sí, de, de ser necesario, nada más, disculpe. Porque eso no me va a ayudar para la vida cotidiana, ¿verdad? Pero si es ser, de ser necesario, porque el inglés tendría que contestarse completa, se supone, ¿verdad? Pero... Como por ejemplo que si uno va a la embajada y le preguntan que si este es de Salvador, ¿va? Y es ahí. Entonces, este, ajá, así nada más, porque no le preguntan si de dónde viene o qué, ¿verdad? Are you from El Salvador? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Puede decir yes, I am. O oh, yes, I am from El Salvador. Pero en la redundancia de from El Salvador se puede omitir. Yes, I am. Uh -huh, eso. Yes, I am. Eso. Uh -huh. Ok, very good. Uh -huh. Excelente. Ok, entonces vamos a ver los Pero, examples. Para, neg para negativo sería not he was. La negativa, aquí están las negativas. La vamos a ver ahorita. Oh, okay. ok, entonces en la question, was I late? Positivo sería yes, you were. Short answer, ¿verdad? Y la negativa sería, no, you weren't. You were not. Weren't. Okay. Weren't. Mm -hmm. Yes. And short answer. Okay. Oh, you puede, puede decir, no, you were not. Yes. Pero usamos siempre el, los contractions para oírnos más natural. Were you sick? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Was she from Italy? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Was it a big house? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. Y la otra dice, were, perdón, vamos a quitar. Okay. Es que, were you early? Ah, were you early? Yes, we were. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Were they busy? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Ok. Ahora lo vamos a repetir. Repeat after me. Repitan después de mí. Was I late? Was, Was I late? 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 Yes, you were. Yes, you were. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. Were you sick? Were you, were you sick? sick? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Was he surprised? Was he surprised? Was he surprised? Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. No, no he wasn't. Was she from Italy? Was she, she from, from Italy? From Italy. Yes, she was. Yes, no, she, she wasn't. Was. Yes, she, yes was. she was. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Was, was it a big house? Was, was it a big, big house? house? Yes, it was. It no, was. Yes, it was. No, yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was. No, it wasn't. Ok, vamos a hacerlo en orden. Déjeme que yo lo haga primero y después te repitan, ¿ok? okay. Was it a big house? Was, was it a big house? house? Was it a big house? Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Were we ready? 
Were we ready? Were we ready? Yes, we were. Yes, we yes, were. We were. We were. No, no, we weren't. No, no we, we weren't. weren't. Were you early? Were you early? Were you early? Were you early? Yes, we were. Yes, yes we, we were. were. No, we weren't. No, no, we, no we, weren't. we weren't. Were they busy? Were they, they busy? busy? They yes, they were. Yes, yes they, they were. They were. No, they weren't. No, no they, they, weren't. they weren't. Okay, muy bien, excelente. Esta palabra B U S Y se dice B C. B C. B C. Very good. Excellent. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo ser las short answer for afirmativas y, y negativas? No. No. Very good. No. Este es el fin de la presentación que teníamos para ahora. Espero que les haya, uh, les haya servido esta presentación que, esta que tenía yo preparada para ustedes para que esto sea como un refuerzo para lo de la plataforma. A veces quedamos nosotros uh, en la plataforma, eh, no quedamos bien claro y estas presentaciones eh, son como, acuérdense, que son como un apoyo al material que tenemos en la plataforma. La plataforma la tenemos que, tenemos que trabajar en ella, así que es parte de su, de su, de su eh, calificaciones, ¿ok? Si tienen alguna pregunta en la plataforma, envíenme un mensaje, ya les dije que podemos nosotros después de la clase unos eh, 10 o 15 minutos les puedo dedicar para explicarles algo que no entiendan de la plataforma. No tengan eh, pena, yo estoy a su servicio. Durante el día yo trabajo de 8 hasta las 4 de la tarde. Estoy uh, ocupado, entonces a esa hora sí no voy a poder, pero después de las 4 sí ya puedo. ¿Ok? Uh, estoy a la orden. Uh, gracias, gracias por tu asistencia. I appreciate your assistance and, and uh, I'm very happy with you guys. You guys are improving a lot. Están aprendiendo mucho, están eh, mejorando ya su pronunciación. Así que felicitaciones a cada uno de ustedes. ¿Ok? Eh, gracias por su tiempo. Thank you, teacher. Es un esfuerzo para ustedes y trato de hacer lo mejor para ustedes y estar a su disposición. Yes. Ok. okay. Good you. evening, all okay. of you guys. And I see you tomorrow. Okay? Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.